y'all this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel Rochelle's plans thank you for joining me for another video and in today's video we are setting up my classic catch-all planner for the month of May so if you want to see more keep watching okay y'all so here I have my classic happy planner my wild style happy planner and then I have this planner here which is just some covers this is just some covers that I got from Joann's. I put these together, put these on a set of discs that came with different planners. I just put them together because they pair so well with this flower here, these flowers here. And this is where I store all of my wild style um, blank pages. This planner here is the New Day dashboard layout where I store all of well where I keep all of my dashboard pages okay once I do flip throughs and the pages are completed I take those pages out and I put them over here and then I just take the current month take it out of this planner and put it in my catch-all I have a different planner set up where once I do my flip through of whatever month that I need to do a flip through of the completed spreads. I'll take those pages out. I have another planner. Again, there are covers that I got from Joann's and I put my decorated pages on that planner. Once the year is complete or I'm done with the planner, then I will put all the pages in this planner. But I'm thinking though, y'all, why do I have two planners? I could have put the decorated pages back in here. That must have been a reason why I did it that way. I don't know. Y'all, planners and how you have it set up change all the time. So, I don't know. But anyway, let's flip to May. So, May. Now, I'm not done filling out the pages for April. So I will have to, before I take these pages out, I'll have to finish that up and then do a flip through and then I'll take those pages out. So for right now, I need to do a flip through of March too for both my uh, catch all section and my, um, for both my catch-all section and my um, social media section because y'all y'all will see that I am going to be reducing this planner whereas in my catch-all I had my classic first social media faith I had budget and then wellness. I took budget out last month because I want that solely by itself because I'm doing more in-depth things with my budgeting now. And I do have budgeting videos, budgeting, cash stuffing videos, how I set up my budget planner, all that kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that video as well this week. So you will see here when we get to it that I'm going to, that this is gonna, this setup is gonna change, okay? So let's see here. So we have May. So I need to put in May's pages. I'm not taking out anything just yet because I need to do flip throughs of those pages before I take them out. So I just grab all of May and then just take it out. And y'all look at this. Always be the leading lady of your own life. I love that quote and I love this divider it's so pretty so pretty okay so we have that for May and then also for May I like to go ahead and put down what I have going on for the month of May we're done with this one y'all so we can put that to the side so we can just go ahead and notate everything for the month of May just go ahead and set this up okay so how I do that is in on my May monthly pages, I like to notate 
paydays, mine and Dion's, birthdays, holidays, important events that we have going on, and some bills. I don't put all of our bills on here because I do that in my budget planner. So I have these sticky notes here, and this came, I think this came in the first Be Happy box uh, with Joann's and uh, Happy Planner. I'm not sure though, but it has these tabs on here, so you can just keep these in your planner if you want to, like so. Just like that, so that, you, so that way you always have sticky tabs on hand. But I just keep them in a drawer here in one of my desk drawers. So anyway, let's go ahead and do I need to take these out of the planner? I don't think so. If I do, I'll take them out. But y'all, I've already on my Google Map, on my from Google Maps, I printed out everything that we have for the month. So I'll be referencing this page or these pages to put down everything. But first, I want to notate all of our paydays. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, but he'll get paid here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six paydays this month. So I'm going to notate those with these sticky notes here. And I know this is for, these are for paydays. Y'all, I have so many things to get done. It is not even funny. And it's Tuesday. Oh my goodness. And I feel like my back is up against the wall. Um, just because we have we leave on thursday for orlando i haven't started packing yet all the only thing i have left to wash are whites and i'm not packing a lot because it's florida and the clothes pretty much are foldable but i still have to wash my hair um and i can do that in sections i have to wash my hair um, i have to pack and the kids have to pack. I don't pack their things at all anymore. They pack their own things. They're uh, 16 and 19. I stopped packing their stuff years ago. And um, I just, anxiety is starting to set in. And it's just the fact that I know I have a deadline coming up and I don't want to leave anything. So Saturday, let's see. What bills do we have? We have something to do here, but I'm going to pay this. I'll probably pay that bill, Bank of America, today. Our rent is already paid. I paid that on the 15th of last month. Oh, we have Mother's Day here, so I'm going to cover up Mother's Day because I just like to write that in or find a, I like to find a, um, a sticker that says, <laughs> that says the holidays. And Happy Planner has all sorts of sticker books with those holidays on them. We have a Memorial Day here. Oh, good. That's a day off. Thank you. Because I will surely need it. Okay, so we have, we have Mother's Day, Memorial Day. Y'all, I don't know why I'm stuttering. I don't know. Um, Let's see. I have my Ivy box that comes out on the 1st. So... I'm going to put bills with this colorful box. So these are, so remember are the different holidays for the month. These here are our paydays and I'm going to use the colorful boxes for bills that are due. So on the ninth, cell phone is due. And let me grab a pen so that I can just write the different, the dates and what's due. So I'm, the, I'm gonna put nine, and I'm put cell phone. I think I probably should have taken these off of the discs, y'all. 
Um, let's see. 7, 14. And we're going to put 14, 21, 28. And this is because when I take these off, I put them throughout the different weeks in my planner. And then so I'll know what this box stands for. And when I put the functional box, I know what it's for. So payday, payday, Dion pay, payday, and I'm going to put times two here. Okay, so we have cell phone, my different paydays, and then let's get some sticky notes for bills that are due. We have here on the first, a subscription for my Ivy box. And if you guys don't know, that's my AKA box. We have, I think it's here, the six. Dillard. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have a cheer payment here as well. I put that there like that. Let's see. 10th, 11th. I think it's Hulu here. But that's automatic. Okay, so here on the 14th, it is, I'm going to use this to write multiples. So 14th is capital one. What else? Um, so we have capital one. We have Mohila. Oh, Ryan has a dentist appointment on... Is that right? No, this is, this is not even for, y'all, I printed out April. I was wondering like, why are the dates not lining up? Okay, so I gotta go off in memory. Okay, it's okay, it's fine. So we have Cap One, Mohila, we have the car insurance, Rental insurance. What else? I think that's it for the 14th. Oh, I'm going to pay rent here as well again. Okay, and then we have on the 17th is our life insurance comes out. Let's see. Um, we come back from Orlando. Y'all, and if I'm jumping across all around, then that's okay. Because I'm having, like I said, I got to do this from memory. On the 29th, which is a Saturday, but yeah, I'm going to put it here anyway. ADT. I may pay it on Friday. 29th, ADT. I'm going to put 17 here. I think TXU is on the 25th, but like I said last month, y'all, it fluctuates or it changes each, each month because of the billing cycle. We have TXU. Mm -mm. Let's see. She has cheer appointments on Tuesdays. Oh, she try out. Ryan tries out on here. So I have 
Ivy Box, Cheer, Dillard's, Hulu, Netflix. I think it comes out on the 17th. Netflix. Water is somewhere in here. I don't, I think it's somewhere like this last week. I'll notate it when I get it because I think it's the 23rd, but then I'll pay it here on the 21st. If I need a box to put that down in, I'll come back and do that after the fact. But TXU, Life Insurance, ADT, Hulu, Netflix, let's see, cell phone. When is um, Spectrum? I think it's due on the, night, on the 29th as well. So I'm going to put Spectrum. We used to have Direct TV, but now we have Charter Spectrum that took the place of that. And I think that's due on the 29th as well. Okay. So Ryan has competitive cheer tryouts on the 16th. So let's notate that. Which one do we want to use? We'll use this one, the pink one. Sixteen spirit tryouts. I think it's like three ten, three fifteen, something like that. Okay, y'all. I think that is possibly everything, and I don't know. I think school is out sometime this week, but I'll come back in and notate that as well whenever I do have more and I um, I have the printout of the, um, the school calendar. Do we have any birthdays this month? May. And I think Ryder has, oh, you guys, you know what? I have, I've got an, an appointment. I have my mammogram appointment. Mm, let's see. On Friday the 14th. I need to put this on here as well. Oh, Cinco de Mayo is on the 5th here. Okay, so yeah, my mammogram is on the 14th. So let's put that there. So I need to use one of these. And I'm going to have these doubled. The boxes. Just because, you know, I see some people and they have their, their monthlies. What time is it? 345 and they don't have hardly any stickers on here right they're able to really decorate it but y'all with everything that we have going on us being a family of five it is a lot I always have a lot Ryder has a grooming appointment this day so let's put this down his appointment is at one o'clock and y'all if y'all I haven't showed y'all, but I showed y'all before, like um, in my weekly vlogs or midweek vlog or cheer vlog. Um, Ryder is a constant show stealer. And he had, we finally got his hair. He was able to get his big boy haircut. Y'all, they scalped my baby. <laughs> they asked me what or how low did I want it? And I was like, I don't know. Just here, here's his, what he looked like when we got him at eight weeks. And y'all, when I got him back, he was like, uh, yeah, he didn't have any hair left. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just lower than what we were used to. But it's kind of growing on us now. We don't want it that short anymore, but it's growing on us. So y'all, I think that's it. I'm looking at my cat, my phone here. I think that's it. Well, you know what? Ryan and I have wax appointments on the 30th. So let's put this on here. Let's use this one. So we're going to put 30th wax appointments to 15. I think it's 215. Yep, it is. 
Okay, so y'all, so that's it for my May monthly setup. Okay, let's put these back up. And y'all, I was just using this Muji um, in a 0.38 to write all of my plans in. So now May is set up. Now again, I have to go back and I have to do the May, decorate my May currently page and then decorate my monthly page, pages. Okay, so now let's flip to my social media section. Okay, all right, so now for social media, again, I use this uh, New Day dashboard layout, and y'all, it's over in December, so I'll have to get another, I think I may already have another one, I don't know. Okay, so we have the pages here, let's just take these out. This one says, trust your soul. Okay, and then we'll just put this, these pages right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, these pages out, y'all, because for setting up this, I wanna do a better job, okay? And staying on track with my planning schedule so what I'm going to do is write down the the videos that I want to have going up on certain days okay several planners in the planning community that have YouTube video uh, they have YouTube platforms I think they use these pages the same way so I did take inspiration from them I can't remember which ones they are but I've seen where several YouTubers or planner babes that use the monthly pages to write down what they're going to, the content that they're gonna post that day. They also use a perpetual calendar in the front, in the front of the count, in the front of the planners. Um, I've seen some of them use those pages in the social media planner, planner for planning purposes as well. You can do it however you wanna do it, but I think this is a good idea. It's right there. Like when I turn the pages, you have to flip, you know, through the monthly pages right before you go to your weekly pages anyway. So why not use these? I wasn't using them anyway. So I wanna do a better job at that. Okay. So I decided to use these pages for that purpose. So for Sundays, I like to post my classic plan with me's, but sometimes if it does, it takes a while to upload. I mean, life gets in the way. It doesn't upload properly. Sometimes it goes up on Monday. Sometimes it goes up on Tuesdays, but I feel like if I have a written plan, then that I will be able to stick to it better. So that is my plan, y'all. That's what I plan. So... For Sundays, Sundays I typically like to put up my classic planner, plan with me. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to write classic plan with me, and I'm going to put it on every Sunday. And then after that, what I might do is come back in and put the theme because I don't know the themes until the week of. I start thinking about it and then I'll, you know, maybe like Saturday or I start thinking about it like Friday. And then once I come up with a theme, then I'll come back in and I'll put that in here or whatever, whatever, whatever inspires me, I'll put it here. Okay. Mondays, I brought back, y'all know that I brought back my mini happy planner. So I want to start uploading those on Monday. So I'm gonna do mini plan with me.
and whatever I do in my classic, I'll do the same type of spread in my mini. It's not going to be the exact same, but it's going to be the same type. Tuesday, I like to do my social media um, plan with me. Oh, I'm going to just do dashboard. Okay, so we got the dashboards. Wednesday, I would typically do my horizontal, um, my mini horizontal, but I think I'm going to, and that was used for journaling. I want to introduce a classic horizontal. I have the planner and everything, but I'm going to start doing a classic horizontal so that way I have more space uh, to journal so I'm going to do Wednesday I'm going to say that for uh, my classic horizontal spreads let me see it make sure y'all can see this so this is going to be Wednesday classic horizontal Okay, I'm not gonna do playing with me because they're all playing with me. <laughs> so, um, so those are classic horizontals. Thursdays, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. Maybe it'll be um, just a fun video. I'm not sure just yet. But then Fridays, I want to try to do some type of budget video or maybe I'll use that for Saturdays because now I'm doing my cash stuffing and budgeting videos so it budget videos are either go up Friday or Saturday but for the most part if I'm able to and I don't like posting Fridays late at night so I want to do it Saturday so I'll film it on Fridays and then I'll just do I'll upload them on third on Saturdays do I want to do that or do I want to do because this month my yeah I got to do that on Saturdays it's just that's just what it is because I do like to do my cash stuffing videos and which I'm not going to be able to do it this Saturday because we'll be in um, Florida and I'm not take uh, there's no way I'm going to take all that all my equipment with me to plan that so that may happen when I come back or it may not happen at all this week um yeah if y'all haven't if y'all are into budgeting and cash stuffing um check out my videos because I do post videos um once a week on cash stuffing and I, I'm not I mean I'm an open book you have our income there and I show you guys what how much cash is going to my different cash envelopes and how much we're saving, how much goes into our sinking funds. So this is going to be, I'm going to say cash stuffing. Oh, but you know what? This week, I think, okay. So for the uh, last week of the month, I like to do like, what? The currently page, the setup page, or the setup video, and then the monthly spread. So what I'll probably do here is, let's do the setup for June. Let's do June setup. 
And Friday, let's do June. Um, currently page. And then for Saturday, we can do, I can still do my cash stuffing. I just probably have two videos. So we'll do cash stuffing. And we'll do June monthly. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that like that. And let me zoom out some for you guys so that y'all can see it better. So this is what it looks like so far. Saturday, I don't know what video I'm going to put up this day because like I said, we'll be in Orlando. But I do have some videos in the pipeline for you guys. So we'll just see. Um, so, y'all, if I have this, this is going to work so well. Because I was trying to do before, I was just like... The week of, I was like, okay, let's do this, you know, put everything down. And I wasn't using it. And I found it to be, um, I was always behind and I wasn't using these pages. So here, this is going to work. If I stick to this, I look at this. Okay, now I have something to go by. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to work really well for me. But now I just have to, I got to figure out what I'm going to do on Thursdays and Fridays because I want to get back to uploading a video daily. And you know what, guys, if I write this down in here and I don't post that day and it's another day, you know what? I'm giving myself grace because I am a full-time working mom and wife um, and my kids are in sports that travel and we are on the go all the time. And then I have a daughter that's in college. So, yeah, if I don't stick to this, it's okay. And there are going to be Simply Gilded unboxes, unboxings. They're going to be um, like a pup box unbox. I want to do that every month uh, for you guys to show y'all what Ryder is getting in his pup box every month. Um, I want to introduce... Uh, for my sorority sisters out there who may not subscribe to this, maybe they'll want to subscribe. Um, I want to do an Ivy box um, unboxing every month. So I have room to play with this. So having two, four, six, seven days here that's not accounted for is okay. Um, yeah, so that's it for setting up my uh, May monthly pages for my social media planner let's put these pages back in the planner all right so y'all here's where we are and this will not get decorated this is just for me to look back and see okay so this is may so we have everything here all of the different weeks in may and probably what I'll do is whatever I use for my classic and my mini, I may use that for my social media planner as well for that week. Because I just find that it's so much easier if you keep the themes the same, you know, across um, the spreads. So that's what, and then I don't have to pull out all these different sticker books, y'all. Okay, so Faith, y'all, I've been slacking, but I'm going, I bought an, about a, a Oh my gosh. So for faith, I purchased a new faith planner and I showed y'all um, already. I did a flip through of it. I've been slacking. So there's nothing to show for faith. And then for wellness, I love this planner y'all, but I told y'all if I don't use these pages that I'm taking them out. Right. And I have not used them. So I'm not going to do wellness in my catch-all. I'm just not going to try to track it because I'm not doing it, y'all. I'm just so inconsistent. And that's okay. I'm giving myself grace. That's fine. Hey, 
it is what it is life happens so but y'all this is so pretty so pretty okay and what i'll do with these dashboards is i keep these dashboards from all my different planners in a, another binder and if i want to take pictures or use them i just i already have a binder set for those that i can flip through it and find a dashboard that i want to use um, in a picture i like this uh what do you call this placeholder this dashboard i like that okay so for faith i am still going to have a faith section in my classic i don't think that i'll be filming it i don't know it's just it's a lot if i do y'all that may be on fridays uh faith friday that may be what i do but let me get back to y'all on that one but so far what we have in my classic catch-all is the first section is my classic pages okay so that's everything for my classic the sex the second section okay so there everything is here i don't know what that is on my pages y'all all right and then the second section is my social media section. All right. And then I have all the pages in here for that section. And then the last section in this planner is my faith. Now I don't have April no i don't have may in here but i will put may in here and the pages look just like this and the reason why i think i haven't been using this uh planner y'all is because i have to cover this up every week and it can be a lot maybe when i just do it i just need to do it all at one time and then just be done with it i think i'll do that i'll just cut my avery label shipping paper and i'll just put it in there when I whenever I initially do it but then I was using these pages the monthly pages let me see if I have some on March nope I don't I think I have some in January and February where I started to write like a scripture of the day or some something that I was grateful for every day on my March monthly pages or not March but my faith pages but let me get the pages to um, May and put them in here Okay, y'all, so here is the planner that I use for faith. Oh, this thing goes through to December. All right, so let's flip to May. And let's take all of the pages out for the month of May. And I'm not going to do it here, but I mean, I could have if I had planned for it, but I didn't. Um... Could have gone ahead and covered up these pages but that's neither here nor there brave fearless strong so here are the pages for may and they're all the same so i have to cover these up every week and i just cover those up with avery label shipping papers shipping shipping papers avery label shipping paper okay and then i have my extra paper back here that's what I have back there and then y'all I pulled out these pages in my wellness section and here is the wellness well this is a teacher planner and the name of this one was pastel blooms that's what the name of this one was so where's February here's February okay and this came out of a teacher uh, box so I'm going to put these back in here and then just take out all of these dashboard pages and put them in my dashboard planner that I have. Y'all look how cute these are. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. All right, y'all. And that is it for this 
setup video. I hope you were able to take something from this and just know that you may have a system set up find that it's not working for you and that's what i love about the happy planning you can take the pages out put the pages back you can customize it and make it work for your needs whatever you have going on say you're trying something out it doesn't work switch it up i mean i know a lot of us do that all the time um if you want to introduce another planner into your lineup oh yes that's what i want to do hold on sorry about that y'all so here's the planner here that I have, um, it's a classic horizontal planner. Look at the inside. And these are the perpetual pages that I was talking about for social media. And I was talking about the, in the social media section. So a lot of people use these pages for different things. You can write your steps on here. You can track your foods. You can track um, um how much water you have for that day the total um, amount of water you can track uh your social media what you post i mean there's a lot of things you can track on here okay so this is the planner that i had that i bought because it was a classic horizontal and i just said that i wanted to use this type of spread for journaling i think this would be great for that so i'm going to take out all of may and we're going to put this in my planner so i just took out the wellness right so now what i'm going to use is this here for journaling So here are my pages that I'm going to be using for journaling. I don't know how I will use these pages. I know Playing With Elise uses these pages for her wellness prompts. And I think that would be a good idea. But I don't know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to incorporate that. I have to, you know, I haven't watched a video on it. Um, I just saw some people in the community posting on Instagram that they had their world wellness prompts done for the month, but I think that's a good idea. I'm not sure yet what I'll do, but I am gonna use these pages for journaling. Look how neutral this is. These have thick, bold black lines, but I can easily cover those up. So this is going to be a new addition to my lineup. So I have put, um, what did I put? I had, oh, here it is, Classic Horizontal. Yep, so I just forgot that quick, y'all. But yeah, so that's what you're going to see on Wednesday in place of my Mini Horizontal. I'll have my Classic and still have to figure out these days here. All right, y'all. So I know I was all over the place on that in, the, in that video, in this video. So just bear with me, y'all, while I change up some things and get some stuff situated. Um, but yeah, here are the four planners that I'll be using in addition to my mini and then my budget. But these three planners here are what's Franken plans in this one or is what's housed in this one planner here. And again, do what works best for you and your planning system. Change it up if it's not working for you and make it your own. And that way you'll be able to find planner peace. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to take away some things that you can incorporate in your planning style or your planning system. Comment down below, letting me know um, if this video was helpful to you guys and uh, what sections, if you do Franken plan, what sections do you have in your planners? So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Playing with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.